Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School for Hopkinton Hillers field hockey. Today, it's the four, six, and three Hillers taking on three, seven, and O oh, Medway. The Hillers trying to make a playoff push. They are seven points away from clinching a playoff spot, so this is a big game here today, and of course, it's Keep smiling for Abby Day here at the Hillers Field Hockey Game as they celebrate the life of Abby Benford, who passed away just a few years ago due to anaphylaxis. And of course, Keep Smiling for Abby Foundation has done a lot of work to help raise money for anaphylaxis awareness. Tom Nappy alongside Larry Sacklad, Matt Clark on camera, and we are underway. The Hillers working left to right in their white jerseys across your screen. And the Hillers making a push towards the net. Here comes Vani Sharma, and we get a whistle here in favor of Medway. A little stick contact there. With control on the far side, that's Sarah Doyle. And a pretty nice day here for Hillers field hockey. Out in front of the box, Sharma. And it's contested by Rhea Vasco for Medway, and we get a whistle in favor of the Hillers. Fouls outside the circle. There's a pass up field, just past the reach of Liz Kane. And Sharma gets a shot off, and it's taken by Medway for the moment. Pass up the near side, Sharma intercepts, gets it back into the box. We'll be hearing her name a lot today, Sharma. Certainly will. Junior. Haley Ravella trying to get in there. Here comes Sharma now. Nice pass out in front of the net, kept away by the goaltender. Quickly approaching was Caroline Estella in front of the net and they were just able to get it away. White ball. Pass up field by Kane. Here comes Sharma. She'll swipe it towards the box, and now the whistle in favor of Medway. They got to give the uh, the attackers got to get five five yards. So the defenders going to be back five yards for whatever reason. That's the rule. That's right. Locked up field by Sarah Doyle out in front of the box, quickly approaching. And it's taken by Medway, trying to maintain control is Mary Kate McDougal. Jumping in there was Grace Lehman. Grace Lehman has been moved up to midfield, I think, from her normal defensive position. You stand out the first few games we covered defense. Now Medway with control in Hiller's territory. Along the far side. And now over to Sharma. Sharma with the pass up. Just past Estella. Estella looking to approach the box, feeds it over towards the shooting circle, now out in front and kicked away by the goaltender. And it looks like we'll have a penalty corner here for the Hillers. So here comes the penalty corner. Pass out, shot, that's McIntyre, and it is just past the net. Wide to the left. Get you the starters in just a moment for both sides. The 
Miller is going to get a free hit here. It's taken by Sophia Driscoll. On the far side, we get a whistle. Lots of whistles, Tom. Yep, some big contact there. Let's take a look at the starters for the Hillers. You got Vani Sharma, Hannah Ionelli, Caroline Estella, Alyssa McIntyre, Liz Kane, Sarah Doyle, Sophia Driscoll, Megan Muldoon, and Caroline Lehman are the defense, and Liz Gross in net. Another whistle here in favor of Medway. Let's take a look at the Medway starters. Mara Thompson, Sophie Donovan, Kelly Lavoie, Julia Bergers, Medway approaching Hiller's territory. Haley Ravella, Emily Stevens, Rhea Vasco, Sam Buana Corsi, Mary Kate McDougal, Sarah Peterson, and in net it is Liz White. Along the near side, taken by Mara Thompson. Pass oh. back over to Ravella. Nice block tackle by Sharma. Got her stick down flat on the ground and block that ball. About six minutes into action here. Scoreless between the Hillers and Medway. Here comes McIntyre. McIntyre quickly approaching. Past a couple of Mustangs, maintaining control. And there's a long shot there, kicked away by the goaltender. And now here comes Medway. It's the first real good break by Medway and it gets uh, broken up. Nice job by Megan Muldoon getting in there. Bonnie Sharma, the junior, with control. Hopkins and carrying the play so far. That's my take, anyway. Oh, Ooh, big trip there as Muldoon falls to the ground. No whistle, though. Medway quickly approaching. There's a shot deferred by Lehman. That's a nice tape-to-tape -tape pass there. Miller's coached by Becky Abate in her first season at the helm. And we have a whistle here in favor of Medway, some stick contact. Wanna course you with the pass down. We'll have to do it again. For those of you that are wondering how big that goal is, it's uh, seven foot tall by 12 foot wide. Goalies have just a little bit bigger stick than the attackers or defenders, and they wear these, I don't know, Bozo the Clown boots over their knee pads. I don't know how they run around in them, but they do. I'd imagine they're pretty light. Medway quickly approaching. Out in front of the net. A herd of players from both sides. And it looks like Medway will have a penalty corner here. Yeah, five players stand out the 16 yard mark. Julia Berger will send it out. There's a pass off the goaltender out in front. Still out in front of the net and Liz Gross trying to kick it away, it's loose. And did Medway get a goal here? No, it was wrapped up by Liz Gross. That was some good goalie work there. It's those boots. I'm gonna get a pair of those boots, Tom. <laughs> there you go, you should. When I go out dancing. <laughs> Medway on the attack once again. Out in front of the shooter's circle. Getting to it for the Hillers, Sarah Doyle. Now it's stolen away. There's a pass out in front. Ball can't touch any part of the player's body. Otherwise the whistle is going to be blown unless it's incidental or it's non-advantageous. McIntyre trying to work up the far side. You can only use the flat edge of your stick. 
Not the rounded side. Tied up in Hiller's territory. And side out. Out on the Hillers, sent down by Ray of Vasco. The Hillers started off this game with the majority of the pressure, but Medway has since responded. McIntyre tied up a little bit. And a whistle in favor of the Hillers here with some stick contact. Pass up into Medway territory towards Estella. Ooh. I didn't like that call. Pass down into Hiller's territory from Mary Kay McDougal. Now along the far side, it's Kelly Lenore. Ray of Vasco with the pass. Taken by Sharma. Here comes Sharma, the Hillers might have a break here. McIntyre working up the far side. And it's stolen away. Yeah, she's just over in that ball. This could be our last broadcast of field hockey. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. If it is, I'll wish you a nice winter. And see you in the spring for baseball. Absolutely. Hope Santa Claus is good to you. <laughs> Another penalty corner for Medway. Julia Berger will feed it out. Now in front. Shot deflected for the moment into the box. And it's turned away. Good defense there by the Hillers. Here comes McIntyre up the far side. And it's quickly stolen back by Medway. Stepping in there was Ray Vasco for Medway. Mustangs really trying to force it into the box, but the Hillers defending well. Just over 12 minutes into action. Scoreless between the Hillers and Medway, but the Mustangs are threatening. 17.42 to go in the first half. We'll get a 10 minute break at the halfway point. Tied up out in front. Back and forth, just in front of the box. And some stick contact there. Got a timeout call by, I think, Hopkinton. Yeah, that was Coach Bate wanting to talk things over. 17-17 left to go. The Hillers and Medway scoreless on H camp. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose, and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of Naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal Naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining Naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Off the timeout, 17-17 left to go. Scoreless between the Hillers and Medway. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call, Matt Clark on camera. Hillers field hockey on HCAM. Sophia Driscoll will send it out. 
I was reading up on some of the rules. I mean, they're pretty strict to field hockey. You know how you can somewhat in baseball be somewhat individualized. If you want to wear your pants high, you can wear them, wear them low, not to show the sock. But here you've got to have everything uniform. If you're wearing skirts, everybody's got to wear skirts. I'm not insinuating anything, but just <laughs> this is just the way it works in right. field hockey. Stella working her way upfield. Haven't called Cammy McDonald's name so far today. I don't know whether she's injured or. Pass up by Cammy McDonald. Oh, gee. <laughs> Open your eyes, Larry. Getting in there is Rachel Nordling. Or uh, Megan Muldoon, rather. Over to the near side. Handled by Medway. Passed down by Sarah Peterson, but I'll draw a whistle with the contact. Ray Slabin with the pass over. Olivia Mingay sends it out. Turned away by Medway for the moment. Lehman trying to get in there. Now Sarah Doyle gets to it and gets tied up with Kelly Lavoie. Along the far side now. Here stick to stick contact they call hacking, Tom. FYI. Yeah, they didn't call it there. And Medway will have the free hit. Pass over. Hillers defending the box well. They've been hard at work defensively in the last few minutes. Stepping in there for the Hillers, Estella. And whistle against Medway as the Hillers quickly work upfield. Here comes McIntyre. She'll have a free hit here. Just over the halfway point of the first half. Good pass there over to McIntyre, but some stick contact draws the whistle. I'll bet you didn't know that Dulles McIntyre played some JV ice hockey. Really? Yeah, pretty darn good. She just gave it up, hung up the skates. That happens at the high school level. You just become eh, disinterested in a sport. Well, she probably wanted to concentrate on her academics. Is that what you're gonna say? That's right. And also uh, field hockey and softball. Yeah. Trying to work her way down the near side. There's Medway's unlisted number three. Unfortunately, they could only provide us with the starters. Here comes Estella. Over to Cammie McDonald. She's by McDougal. I don't know where Cammie McDonald is going to college, but it's on a lacrosse scholarship. Her mom, a great lacrosse player. Olivia Mingay's pass over. Sent up into the box, turned away by Medway. Just missing the hit there was Grace Lehman. She'll contest along the near side. Pass up to Mingase. Now sent over by Cam McDonald. Huh? This whistle in favor of Medway. Mustangs working upfield. Huge crowd on hand today, Tom. <laughs> Pretty good turnout. I can't, can't, I can count the fans on both hands. 
Here comes Medway quickly approaching. There's a shot and a goal. The Mustangs take a 1-0 lead. So with 12.09 left, it's 1-0 Medway. Would that be scored at 19.51 of the first half? Well, the Hillers, they're going to have to put some pressure on this Mustangs group. Medway certainly winning the possession battle the last few minutes. Over towards Sharma. On the near side, stick contact. Sharma sends it up, handled by Medway. Sharma getting in there. Over towards Sarah Peterson, who will take a hit here. High stick on the Hillers. Oh. That whistle in favor Up. of the Hillers, offsides Medway. And yeah, there's a foot foul. Yeah. Hit the foot and whistle blows. Another foot foul. Here comes Medway. Deferred there by Sophia Driscoll. Mustangs trying to quickly approach once again. Sophie Donovan with possession in the box. Sends it out. And it looks like Medway's gonna have a penalty corner. Dang. I believe that was a foot foul. Well, if it happens in that circle there, that 16 foot circle, and we get those penalty corners. Four defenders plus the goalie. The attackers get five out on the circle. Six out in the circle. Mustangs working in the box, out in front. Turned away by the goaltender, Liz Gross. Still in that danger zone though. And another penalty corner for Medway. Kelly LaRue will send it out. Less than 10 minutes left to go in the first half. One nothing Mustangs. And they continue to threaten. Into the shooter's circle. That one lifted up and it's in, but will it count? I don't believe it will because I think the hit was too high, but there is a penalty corner. Yeah, they can really scoop that, use their stick, pushing down on the ground, get some nice leverage. Into the box. Out in front, turned away by Gross. And the Hillers have it. Pass up, pass Sharma. Kenny McDonald trying to work her way upfield. Over to Sharma. Good ball control there. Sent up the near sideline to Megan White. White with the pass over. Sharma. Nice dribbling by Sharma. Taps into the box towards Megan White and we have a whistle in favor of Medway. Handled by Grace Lehman who sends it back up. And Ionelli with the pass, and it's intercepted by Berger. Here comes Medway. Sophia Donovan trying to work her way upfield. Sharma now. Over to McIntyre. Two on one, going to come up. Yep, over to Cammie McDonald. McDonald with a shot. Out in front, and it was off of McIntyre and in. Incidental. Lisa McIntyre able to knock it in with 8.03 left to go in the first half. It's a one-to-one -one game. 
unintentionally hit her body and right in. Is that Cammie McDonald, uh, the assist? Yep, certainly is. Well, Hopkins didn't get the ball starting the second half. They lost the coin flip, which is customary to start a game. Umpires, the referees check the sticks to make sure they're legal. Coach can challenge a stick. If they lose the challenge, though, they lose a player. Penalty is called. I don't like the red challenge flag of football. Yeah. I'm not accusing Medway of cheating or anything, but... Uh, An extra wide stick is definitely to your advantage. Donovan trying to work up field. Here comes Donovan. Violation Hillers. Donovan sends it back over to Vasco. Medway out in front. Hillers trying to gain control. Megan White gets in there. That way we'll have a free hit. Along the far side for the Hillers is Sophia Driscoll. Now in there is Alyssa Souza. These are all fiberglass sticks in high school. They gotta wear goggles and mouthpieces for safety. Here comes White. That one's taken away for the moment by McDougal. Hit upfield by Kane. Out in front towards the shooter's circle, Souza. And it's turned away by Medway. Of course, they gotta wear shin guards too, because that ball's hard. Intercepted by Ionelli when we get a whistle in favor of Medway. Six and a half minutes left to go in the first half. Knotted up at one apiece between the Hillers and Medway. Hillers four, six, and three on the season at 11 points. Need to get to that 18 mark to get into the postseason. Some of these girls got some very athletic brothers. And I and Ellie's brother's at West Point. He wants to, he's gonna be, a, he is a sophomore, he wants to be an artillery guy. Yeah. He wants to shoot mortars off. He's got another five years to go. Driscoll will send it up. On their side, Kane. McDonald now. Sends it out in front looking for Ionelli. White approaching. Megan White surrounded by Mustangs quickly. Able to maintain control, however. Now the Mustangs send it back out of the box, but Sharma has something to say about that. There's a penalty corner for yeah. Hopkinton. It's That's their first right. of the day, right? Second. Second? I guess I was not paying attention. What else is new? Nothing's new. Nothing else is new. Sarah Doyle will send it out. Under five minutes left to go in the first half. Running clock, no stoppages, except for injury. Timeout. There's a hit by Sharma, turned away by the goaltender, White. a free hit for the Hillers. They'll set it up 25 yards out. Mustangs working upfield. Good steal there by Laban. Yeah. Laban continuing to contest. Both her brothers played football down at Stonehill. I think Sam is finishing up his senior year. For my running back for the Hopkins and Hillers. Souza. Getting in there now, 
Kane. And Medway able to steal it away. Lehman sends it over to McDonald. Into the Medway box it goes. And out of play. Killers will have the free hit here. This Kane will take it. Sends it over to Driscoll. You get a lot of velocity when they use, lay that stick down flat and use the hook of their stick to feed it towards the net. Stepping in there for Medway, Haley Ravella. Pass down, Mustangs working into Hiller's territory. That was a good block by Lehman. Certainly was. Got that stick down and turned it away. Medway approaching. That was a good jab tackle right there. Just poked at it. Or jabbed at it. All legal. Sharma is trying to turn it upfield. Now along the far side, Ray of Vasco. Lucia Hebert's brother, Connor, former running back, defensive back, is down at University of Maryland. He's a Terrapin. I hear he's doing well at school. Better be. Medway ball here. That one was lifted a little too high. Killers take over. Pass up by Driscoll along the far side. Sarah Doyle sends it up towards Megan White. Here comes Medway. Quickly approaching. Good ball handling here. Up, oh, I think it's gonna be a penalty yeah, corner. Penalty corner. That was great ball handling by Sophie Donovan. The illegal stick work by the Hillers. 117 left to go in the half. Julia Berger will send it out. Unusual alignment outside the circle. There's a hit out in front and a goal off of Sophie Donovan. Two to one Medway. Or was it waved off? No, it's a goal. That is a goal. Uh, 102 left in the half. So Medway retakes the lead. Less than a minute left to go in the first half. On the near side, Sarah Peterson sends it down. Here comes the Hillers, over to White. Some body contact, Medway ball. Back and forth in the neutral zone. 12 seconds left. Turn away by Medway. And that will do it for the first half. After one half of play, it is, looks like scoreboard saying one to one, so perhaps they waved off that second goal for Medway. So it looks like we're gonna be tied heading into the second half, unless the scoreboard's wrong. We'll try to get an explanation, but you are tuned in to Hiller's Field Hockey on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you.
Welcome back to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Field Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Larry Sacklad on the call. Matt Clark on camera. It's Keep Smiling for Abby Day here at the Hillers Field Hockey game. Keep Smiling for Abby. Works to try to stop anaphylaxis. Yeah, they got a pretty nifty uh, group of scientists down at the... Uh, Boston Children's Hospital and the Vs Institute, they're coming up with a device that's wearable that can detect when you're about to have a uh, anaphylactic reaction and automatically inject you with epinephrine. And, uh, you know, they just need more money always, you get more scientists, engineers, and so on. But they're working on uh, with the Dana Farber as well. That is, that is correct. And uh, they have a great field hockey fundraiser every summer that a lot of local teams participate in. And they raise a lot of money to try to stop anaphylaxis. You know th this little uh, tidbit? If you were to go out with somebody, let's say on a date, and they had a peanut butter cookie, and if you were to kiss that person goodnight, you could have an anaphylactic reaction wow. of the worst kind and uh, succumb. Something so innocent. Unbelievable. Yeah, most people don't discuss their allergies on dates, but <laughs> if you're allergic to chocolate or any types of nuts. And right. Let them know. <laughs> yeah. Driscoll sends it down for the Hillers who are working right to left across your screen for the second half. Just underway here in the second half, just over a minute in. Here comes Medway. Nice send up by Berger. She'll try for a hit here into the box. Quickly sent away by Lehman. Medway, they're also battling for their season at Three and seven. They need to rack up some wins if they want to get into the postseason. Yeah, three and seven is not. Uh... It looks like we're gonna have a penalty here. Yeah, this uh, game is done every year. They have a bake sale as a fundraiser. This is coming right from Stephen Benford, father of. Late Abby Benford. That's why they call me Scoop Tom, right? That's right. <laughs> it is a one-to-one -one game. They did wave off that second Medway goal. So we are tied up at one apiece. Hillers are a man short. Bonnie Sharma was penalized. That'd be a woman short there, Tom, being politically correct. That is true. A woman short. Hillers trying to establish some control. Twenty-eight minutes and county left to go up the near side. And out of play. To contact there. Ray Vasco will take the hit. Sent back down by a number of hillers, but off of McIntyre and out of play it goes. Vasco sends it up towards the shooter's circle. And we're going to have a penalty corner. So a Medway penalty corner as they'll try to retake the lead. Julia Berger will send it out. And there's a shot out in front of the net. It's loose. Another penalty corner. Yeah. Foul occurred in the circle. 
Can't do bad things in that 16-yard circle. John Copley, a famous photographer, down there getting his shots. Into the circle. And there's a shot. And that looked like it went off the side of the net. Still loose out in front. Gross trying to kick it away. And the Hiller is just able to get it out. So Medway has had their opportunities today. But the Hiller is so far keeping it at a 1-1 game. Up the near side, Driscoll. Doyle rather, and we get a whistle. Sarah Doyle will have the hit. Rushing in there is Muldoon. Medway will have control. It's going to be out of bounds. Uh, yes, it is. So the Hillers will put it in play. Lined up 15 yards out, and Driscoll sends it down. Almost some obstruction by Alyssa McIntyre. You can't come in between a, a defender and your attacker. Vasco sends it up. Medway trying to rush in, deferred there. Nice work by Lehman, who sends it up the field. Now trying to track it down is Estella. Like a target's in there, but I believe it went out. That one's sent up. Both players lost it for a moment. And it's taken away by Medway as Belger challenges Doyle. That was a good block tackle right there by number 13. I don't have my roster in front of me. Driscoll sends it down. Doyle with the pass. Stella trying to chase it down. Oh, stick foul. It's going Medway's way. Sam Bonacorsi will send it upfield. Now it's going to go Hiller's way. Violation there on Medway. We are at even strength. So Hillers were able to kill off the penalty. Doyle sends it down. Sharma back in there. And with control on the box, surrounded by Mustangs. Here comes Medway, quickly coming up field, Donovan. Sophie Donovan sends it over to the far side. Now back and forth we go in the neutral zone. Sent down by Doyle. Great pass there. Nice stick work. Yeah, Stella trying to skate by. Skate? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Off of Doyle. Ah, the foot foul. Ooh. Well, if you're a interested, too much arc on that ball. Yeah, if you're interested in donating, it's keep smiling with no G, the number four, Abby A B B I E dot org. Every dollar is appreciated. Sarah Doyle with the hit, a misfire there by McIntyre. About seven and a half minutes in action here in this second half. Goalie kicks it away there. And I don't know what that's all about. We're going to have a free hit for the Hillers. So it went out of play off of Medway. So they'll line it up 25 yards out. Doyle with the pass over. Hillers trying to threaten, and a stick violation there. And it's against the Hillers. On the near side, that's Driscoll. 
Here comes Medway now. Doyle sends it down. Back and forth we go. Medway trying to attack here. Muldoon along the near side over to McIntyre. Tries to backhand it, flips it over to Sharma. Yeah, Sharma looking for an opening. She's turned away. And Muldoon trying to race up field. I think she was looking for a whistle there. Uh, no green cards, no yellow cards, and of course no ugly red cards today. Sent back down by Lehman and now towards Sharma. Side out, Miller's ball. You can freely substitute as much as you want. You gotta wait for your uh, sub to come in from the sidelines before you uh, run onto the field. One of those field hockey rules. Stolen away by Doyle. Sarah Doyle sends it up towards McIntyre. You know, I might do some field hockey watching in the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo this year. Then again, I might not. <laughs> but they, the, the men get at the ball over 100 miles an hour. Muldoon try to turn it around. Pass up by Estella. No one there for the Hillers. Now towards McIntyre along the near side. McIntyre sends it towards the shooter circle. Staying with it. Out in front, kicked away by White. McIntyre pushes it forward, trying to get it in front of the net. And it's stolen away, Muldoon with a shot off the goaltender. And we have a whistle here in favor of Medway. 19-23 left in the game. No overtime, right, Tom? No overtime. Sort of like, nice to meet you. Good game? Yeah. Well, of course, the tie like... gets each team a point. If it shall end in the current 1-1 result. I guess at the higher level, they take people off the field, play seven on seven for a while, and then if there's no scoring, then they go to penalty shots. I believe that's how it works in the playoffs. Playoffs? Whistle in favor of Medway. A correction in favor of the Hillers, and it looks like a penalty corner. Let's see how they set up at the 16-yard circle. They spread themselves out pretty evenly. Medway was all bunched up towards the center. There's a hit by McIntyre, and it's knocked off the post of the net. And now there's a whistle in favor of Medway. Do you see a deflection there? Yeah, it deflected off the post, and, and a violation against the Hillers, but Hopkinton trying to quickly approach again. There's going to be a penalty corner right there. Yes, it will. So another opportunity here for the Hillers. Doyle will send it out. Medway player whiffed on the hit. Hopkinton player picked it up. Doyle to McIntyre. McIntyre with a shot, and that Good is end. in. Alyssa McIntyre making it a 2-1 Hillers lead. Is it getting waved off? See the referee. It appears it is. Uh, that's no fair. We had a Medway goal waved off towards the end of the first half, and looks like this one may be. Well, Mike Whalen's a local guy. He should give the <laughs> advantage. Not sure what well, the call was, but it is waved off, so it remains one-to-one. -one. Up the far side comes Medway. 
Wasn't sure if the stick went too high or something like that. Well, maybe it deflected off somebody's foot. McIntyre sends it over. Side out. Oh, pass down towards Estella. Oh, wow. Sixteen twenty-eight and counting left to go in this game. Hiller is putting the pressure on. Sharma gets in there. Stick interference. Liz Kane with possession. Sends it back. Hit up by Ionelli. Here comes Sharma. She's turned away. Sharma. This whistle in favor of Medway. Well, there was a good block tackle by Medway. Yep, Aldoon was trying to work up the near side, but was diverted by Emily Stearns. Nice jab tackle by Lehman right there. Medway didn't even know they were picked. Pass over out in front, put out a play by Ionelli. Penalty corner for Medway. Yep. At the end of the year, the girls have got to be in pretty good shape with all of this running. Julia Belger will send it out. Out in front. Into the box, quickly turned away by Ionelli. Hit a foot. That's the call. Medway with a free hit. Sent up the far side. Kane trying to track it down for the Hillers. Fancy stick work by Sharma. Yep. Beats her opponent. Free hit. Medway's got to give up five yards. Kane sends it down towards Doyle. Now McIntyre gets in there. It's going to be out of bounds. Oh, no. Kept in by Medway. Sharma. Nice pass over to Doyle. Towards the box goes Estella. Whistle in favor of Medway. Some stick contact there. Sharma. Turned away as Mary Kate McDougal gets in there. Sharma steals it away. Pass over out in front. Kicked away by the goaltender. Penalty corner, Hillers. Stella will send it out. Out in front, McIntyre takes a hit at it, and White able to sa save it off her pad. McIntyre trying to go five hole there, but we do have a call. Uh, maybe a verbal warning. Oh, she's going to get sent off. Yep. For hacking. She's punished for a couple of minutes, I think. Yeah, we have a green card, too. So that is a warning. The next card would be... Uh, no, she got a green, I think. Yes, yeah, she did. The next card would be you're done for the day. Hillers will have a free hit. 
No crying in field hockey. Sophia Driscoll. Sent out a play and it's Medway ball. So the Hiller is a man short, a woman short. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Up the near side towards Doyle. Over to Muldoon. Medway has it. <laughs> Medway wanted to take the hit, but they were told otherwise. Yeah, I think that was uh, because of the high stick there. Now Medway will have a hit. Yeah, I think that was a high stick. Uh, foot foul on Lehman. Pass down by Doyle. Stahl trying to get in there for the Hillers. Gets tied up with Juana Corsi. Oh. The uh, referee just said next time there's going to be a yellow on white. Oh, boy. Cumulative, cumulative fouls. Driscoll towards Doyle. Hillers ball. Alyssa McIntyre back in the game after serving her punishment. Yeah, she served her two minutes. Hopkins got to Hopkins has got to be careful. They don't want that dreaded yellow card. Sophia Driscoll will send it up over to Doyle. Doyle trying to knock it to McIntyre. Kept away by Medway trying to work up field. Good tackle by Hopkinton. Sent down by Ionelli. Up the near side comes Julia Belger. She kicked it. It's going the other way. Can't do that. She tried. Less than 10 minutes left to go in the second half. Medway ball. Oh, she didn't like that, the ref. She didn't give the ball back to the uh, Medway player right away. Here comes Sharma. Yeah. There's a five yard warning on blue. Purple, whatever the color is for Medway. It's gonna be a timeout. We'll have a timeout, 8.46 left to go. The Hillers won, Medway won. You're tuned in to Hillers Field Hockey on HCAN. When I have an asthma attack, I feel scared. Sometimes my parents have to take me to the hospital. I feel like a fish with no water. You know how to react to their asthma attacks. Here's how to prevent them. Call 1-866-NO-ATTACKS. Visit www.noattacks.org or call your doctor. Because even one attack is one too many. Off the timeout, 8.46 left to go. We're knotted at one apiece between the Hillers and Medway. Both teams fighting for a postseason spot. This game, certainly a big one for both sides. I think we've got a JV game after this game. The lights will come on. Driscoll sends it upfield. Here comes Medway. Belger sent it over. Oh, I thought that was a good jab tackle by Lehman. 
Mustangs approaching the box. That shot deferred, yeah. penalty corner, Medway. Yeah. Somebody got some feetsies in there in the, in the circle. Julia Belger will send it out. Oh, steal right off the penalty corner. And yeah, misfire there by Vasco. Less than eight minutes left to go. Had a play along the near side. McIntyre will send it in. Here comes Estella. Caroline Estella approaching. Nice move there. Sends it towards Sharma. Now Stella is deferred. McIntyre with possession along the near side. It's hit out of bounds. Going to yep. be Medway's ball. There's a whiff. There's a misfire. There's Sharma. Sharma approaching the box. She's Turned been quiet away. this half. Trying to get in there is Driscoll. To midfield. Ionelli sends it to the near side. Here comes Medway trying to charge up field. Ionelli gets in there over to the near side and side out. Just in front of Driscoll. How are the girls' volleyball team doing? Undefeated. Ooh. 10 and 0. Ray Lavasco sends it over. Here comes Medway. Nice interception by Ionelli. Certainly was. Over to Kane. Elizabeth Kane working up the far side. Kane trying to send it over. Sends it down to McIntyre. Sharma. Whistle in favor of Medway. 5.34 left to go in the game. There's a break for Hopkinton. McIntyre sends it over. There's Doyle. Out in front of the net, backhander, and that's in. That was Caroline Estella. I thought it was Alyssa McIntyre, but you get better eyesight than I do. I believe it was Estella. 5.14 left to go, it's two to one Hillers. And this goal appears that it will stand. Yeah, they stormed the net, the Hillers did. 5.14 left to go in the game. Grab the two to one lead. Scoreboard doesn't show two to one yet. Now the scoreboard says two to one. Both teams have had a waved off goal in this game, but the Hillers is able to take a late lead. And they're less than five minutes away now from getting two points in the standings. Good clear by McIntyre. Up the near side. Medway trying to respond. Sent over to the sidelines by Ionelli, and it's caught up with by Driscoll. Now Doyle. Well, if you're the Hillers, pretty much just play keep away at this point. That's what I would do. Medway trying to approach. Good steal. 
That was a nice job by Caroline Lehman. Alyssa McIntyre playing a little tentative. She doesn't want that yellow card to come flying out. Medway working in Hiller's territory. Pass over by LaRue. And now sent up towards the shooter circle. Sharma now. Oh, well, this looks like a penalty corner. It certainly is. 319 to go. Watch the way Medway sets up here. They're going to spread their attackers all around the circle. They could be these inbound plays like Brad Stevens draws up. Kelly LaRue sends it out. And it's turned penalty away corner. was Belger, but it's another penalty corner for Medway. As soon as the ball comes in, they can leave the crease. The defense women. Rue sends it out. There's a shot deflected away by Gross, still out in front. Gross getting in there, kicks it away. And the Hillers get it out of the box. Doyle. Gross using those gunboats effectively. Keeping that ball out of the net. Stella trying to work it up the near side. Sharma now. McIntyre gets in there. Two minutes left to go. I don't know about you, Tom, but I'm getting excited. Absolutely. Medway trying to work up field for one last effort. Tracked down by Driscoll. Driscoll up against Belger. And it's Medway ball. Pass over, minute and a half left. Good steal by Lehman. Hiller is leading two to one. McIntyre sends it down. Estella. And that'll draw a whistle in favor of the Hillers. Penalty corner with about one minute to go. Or a free hit. It'll be a free hit. Less than a minute left. I don't know whether the officials uh, keep a separate clock on their wrist or whether the scoreboard is the official time. Scoreboard's official. 40 seconds left. Oh, there's some feet. Footsies in the way. There's Medway. This whistle in favor of Medway. They have to hurry up here. 20 seconds left. Poking it out was Vasco. Out in front of the shooter circle. There's a shot and it's turned away. Ball still loose. Penalty corner penalty with three corner, seconds. Medway. Game cannot end on a penalty. They will be able to take the penalty corner. Well, this could be their last hurrah, Tom. Last opportunity for Medway. Julia Belger will send it out. Game will continue on until the Hillers establish possession. Out in front, turned away. And it's still loose in the box. Hiller's trying to clear it out, it's wrapped up. Another penalty corner. We're not through yet.
Medway's pulled the goalie, obviously. They don't need the goalie down there. Yeah, they got that extra attacker now. Turned away. And that's going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers take down the Medway Mustangs two to one. They shut out the Mustangs in the second half and hang on for the victory. A good win by the Hillers here today as they improve to five wins, six losses, three ties on the season, up to 13 points. Five points away from clinching a postseason spot. For Matt Clark on camera, my broadcast partner Larry Sacklad, I'm Tom Nappy. Final score for the final time, Hillers take down Medway. Two to one. We thank you for watching Hillers Field Hockey on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.